Hey everyone, in this video today, I have the Evercross H5, and my issue with this scooter is it won't charge. So I tried plugging it in, and I keep getting a green light on it. So to troubleshoot, first thing we'll do is test the charger, and make sure there is voltage. It's getting 55 volts, so for a 48 volt, that's correct. Now we're going to remove this bottom panel on the scooter and expose the battery. After which, I'm just going to plug this back in just to show you the issue. So plugging it in, green light is on when I plug this in. No red light at all. And nope, this isn't the full scooter. Okay, so now we're going to pull out this abundance of wires and we're looking for this particular one here. This is the one that connects to the battery. And the way we know that is because there is a fuse in line right here. So this fuse can actually pop at some cases. This is one of those cases. So when I removed it, I saw that it was kind of burned. So now we're just going to do a test just to make sure that my theory is correct. So plugging both of the terminals in for my tester, the black here and then the red up there, we see that it's zero on the end. Now when we plug the black on the end and then red into the fuse on one side, we can see it's reading 47 volts. So what that means is the fuse is definitely blown. If you look on the left, that is the old fuse compared to the new fuse. Yep, so definitely found the issue. And this is a 5 amp mini fuse. Okay, so over here, we do have the scooter. We're going to put in this new fuse into the line here. And then when we retest it, we'll find that it should reach 47 at the tip of this. Since I've already tested it, I'm going to plug this back in and we'll just plug in the charger and see if it shows red. So now, moment of truth. Put the charger plug into the outlet socket here. And now we see that we have a red light on the charger. So that is good. Now when I turn the scooter on, I can see that it's flipping between a lower and higher voltage. So that shows me that it's definitely working. Now I can put all the wires back into the scooter, close the scooter back up, and that's pretty much it. So we did find the issue, it happened to be the fuse this time. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.